Hey, evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, market sniper vid. Haven't done one in a bit. Yep, the one hourly Euro FX. So we had non farm. Non farm number was poor, poor, poor. And you got your between your one o'clock and two o'clock pump there. Um, there's your volume that goes with non farm. Not a major. You're in a rising wedge type structure. And you popped out the top oft and you've left the base of a grind line that you've been clinging quite tightly to through most of this. So for me, this is a little bit of blow off final structure up leg, but you should always take into account the bigger term view. So let's have a look at the context of this in a far larger chart. There you go. Um, and the, well, the structure is potentially very interesting. Here you go. You have a horizontal line here, which is key round number at the 116. I'm going to make that in our traditional brew for a key level of significance. We were involved and called, for those that cared, uh, to remember the forthcoming dollar strength, which was coming out of this, aka bring this chart down. Um, and it proved a very productive call in that sense. We aren't always right. We get a lot wrong, all that good stuff. Um, but you get a nice sell-off. The key part that's making this 116 interesting, though, is that it, uh, you broke it impulsively. You came and you sat on it once before. You actually wound up with HVF method like that with a nice steep ascending HVF um, that actually made target as well. Uh, I think I've covered this in other clips. It's difficult always to remember what exactly I said, and I can't watch them all. Um, but you got that, uh, and that was a lovely target uh, take for you um, as a structure. But now, what, have you, what did you get post that? You got exhaustion, and of course this funnel's run. Um, so that, which would be green, has been taken out to the downside. So, the, I mean, you know, got to keep an eye on currencies a little bit um, in terms of what's been going on, the trade wars and all of this garbage. Um, essentially, uh, that changes our view from bullish. Note how you bounced on the funnel. That's right. I remember that. You rallied and died into it. So you do actually have structure of a left shoulder here um, on the euro. And I don't run around calling heads and shoulders every chance I get um, because there are reversals. Um, but you do, in effect, have a head and shoulder here. Uh, and they do occasionally work and the dollar strength is the theme and you could find yourself in a situation where there, there's reluctance to uh, run through this funnel event that occurred on the upside and that in fact you run into uh, take profits uh, and targets from there and this churn that set up this overperforming downside inverted HVF that made its own target to the downside with the overperformance and the bounce in the legacy funnel has now come down to the key level of significance of 16 where this one was. So uh, it's worth bearing in mind, and this will shock many, um, that the Eurozone could come back into the frame again in terms of its state of health. So this is a fundamental call using a technical prompt. In other words, if this triggers, listen to me, listen to me now, making headlines, making big ass calls again, ready to be badly wrong. Um, and that's okay, because it's not about wrong and right, it's about making money. Um, and the structure would say, yep, there's a target to be had down there. Now, if we take a look at that, I can see already with the original, yeah, topping out at around 125 and going all the way down to 116. That is almost an entire 10,000 um, points. So it's going to bring you back down to uh, some way down to the 106 uh, level. So if you lose another 10,000 from this 116, you're going to end up at 106. That's going to get the, the parity howling uh, going again. Um, but if it was to run parity, this target would be bigger. But that doesn't mean it's going to rally. If it did do this, it could churn for a while. But a reasonable chance of quite a big sell-off in the euro. Um, so I suppose that's the message calling out for the risk and possibility of a big fall in the euro following our top out call at 124s 19s and the first setup in a new trend with overperformance that did overperform and a right shoulder uh, and given that macro by the way given that macro let's just remind ourselves of the weekly i'm doing it all the wrong way around aren't i um that would bring you very much down to these lows prior to this uh, rally. So that would mean in strength and probably more blustery chit chat from the Fed about tightening while the ECB is not up to too much on that frame. 
uh, on that side. And uh, then I wanted to drop down into that little bit of time frame over there to take us all the way back down to where we started on the rising wedge. Let's reframe that nicely. So with that sell-off, a uh, little grindy, grindy, grindy bear flag, uh, probably had much the same over there. You've got a big, big spill, and then you're getting this kind of um, across the tops and bottom adherence to this grind line and a final blow-off top out of there, marginally higher, higher there as you touch the top of the wet down on the midline and push. This is not strong. This looks like a pennant, but a downside one with that, the pennant flag. Um, so if we drop into that and have a little look-see, you could probably put, uh, a stop up top here and be shorting um, or even there if you're tactical by the way this is not an HVF I wouldn't easily be doing much here um, but many of you are tactical traders um, and this is not a recommendation it is just me talking aloud about potential tactical entries note the grind line over here which also is quite compliant for the bear flag although it's slightly different and maybe got a little bit of wedgy 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 squeezy squeezy japanesey big boy yep um so that would be a dotted line for me um so you go up to there and you'd have a very low vol period and then boop and that was all the non-farm hype with america disappointing on their non-farm number so that's a good short on balance of probabilities for me, a good short on the FX side. And you could, in fact, trade all the way to the 106. You could break in on quite a short time frame with quite a narrow stop. Ooh, hold on. We have tools for that. Let's draw it. What the hell? Uh, make this clip a little bit longer and stick it on. Uh, stick it on, stick it on. Um, so you could go for that stop. And as I say, if you wanted to be really aggressive, you could tighten it a little further. But I think that uh, with what we've got at this point, that would be a bit too much. Um, and then let's remember where we thought um, the target could be. I'm taking it all the way down. This would be a huge, a huge uh, risk reward. Um, let's take it up to the four hour. I'm not going to achieve too much on this bit small time frame um, and stretch him out again. We need that. Uh, to bring it all the way down and we had 106 didn't we so bring him down bring him down around about 106 where has my uh target there we go there we go 106 how'd you like them apples for a risk reward uh, anybody yep you could indeed and this would have all the headlines uh, about eurozone sickness again um, what are we actually getting for a risk reward let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look oh, 47 to 37 piddling risk reward you would only make 47.37 units for every one unit of uh, risk um, but anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's your potential trade. And I'm Francis Hunt, the market sniper, and I'm updating you on FX and saying there's a more than a large chance that a more than reasonable chance, given the nature of the risk reward we're actually shouting out for, that you could get a spill in the Euro USD. And I would expect it to be driven on all the normal travails suddenly getting focus again, uh, such as banks, Italy, Deutsche Bank. Yeah, you heard them all. We spoke about them many times etc etc okay you heard it your first let's see if that happens otherwise come and write nasty comments in the youtube section proving how much bigger a man you are than me ah oh, i'm just being facetious tonight must be the russians pity they got thrown out the world cup anyway speak to you all um later enjoy the enjoy the clip enjoy your weekend um like and share and we'll speak to you all soon thanks for watching